Hey, what's up? Amelia here. Let's see what's making news. Thousands of people have started arriving in northeast Arnhem Land today for the annual Gama Festival. And Jack's up there right now to tell us what's happening over the weekend. Yep, that's right. I'm here at Gama, which is a massive event held in northeast Arnhem Land at Golkala, which is a sacred site to the local Yono people. Over the weekend, thousands of people will gather here to share stories, discuss important issues, and take in all the culture on offer. Do you need help painting anything? This, this one. Do that one. Ah, not the no adults one. <laughs> There's also stacks of stuff for young people to do over at the Youth Forum, which if this sign didn't give away, that's exactly where I am. And I'm joined by Dakota and Michael, who it's their first time at Gama. What are you most excited about? Uh, just to see all the cultural uh, experiences and um, all the music and everything. And what about you, Michael? What's the vibe like up here? Um, there's a lot of different type of people here, like with all these people from different schools, a few people you know from the other schools and getting to know a lot of new people and the locals, very nice and the vibe's very, very good, yeah. Yeah, the vibe is very good. Now, I better let you two go back and enjoy the Youth Forum and make sure you tune in on Monday and we'll tell you what's going. Do you want to throw back to the studio with me? Yeah. We'll just say, back to you, Amelia. Back, back to you, Amelia. Amelia. Former US President Donald Trump fronted a court in Washington, D.C. this morning. He pleaded not guilty to four criminal charges he was indicted for earlier this week. This is a very sad day for America. The charges are all to do with alleged attempts to overturn the result of the 2020 US election, which led to a deadly attack on the US Capitol building. We'll find out more in a few weeks when he heads back to court. Now to sport and things have been heating up at the Netball World Cup. Here's Justina. For the first time at this year's Netball World Cup, the Aussies have had a loss. England scored a close 56-55 win over the Diamonds last night in Cape Town. The Diamonds dominated the second quarter, but were outscored in every other quarter. And as the final 10 seconds counted down, England maintained possession to take the win. Now over to the FIFA Women's World Cup, where there's been a bit of an upset. The number two ranked team in the world have gone out for the very first time in the group stage. Germany is out. Yep, you heard me. Two-time champs Germany have been knocked out after a 1-1 draw with South Korea in Brisbane. Their loss means Morocco is qualified for the round of 16 for the first time, with a 1-0 win over Colombia in Perth. It also means one of the Matildas' key rivals is out for the running. Speaking of the Matildas, we'll face off against Denmark on Monday night. Now, I don't think people were expecting this at the World University Games in China. A Somalian sprinter was, well, out sprinted, taking more than 21 seconds to complete the women's 100 metre race. After an investigation, it was revealed that the sprinter wasn't actually a sprinter at all. The incidents led to the suspension of the Somali Athletics Chair. Yep, didn't see that coming. Now to some stories that are all about uh, falling. They're all about falling. Ow. First up to a fall that carries a hefty price tag. Here at this villa in northern Italy, a group of German tourists were caught on camera toppling a 150-year-old statue. The villa's owner says it's worth more than $333,000 and police are trying to track down the culprits who have since left the country. Oof, that's not a good way to end your trip. Now over to Japan, where these daredevils are making a splash at the Cliff Diving World Series. Held at the beautiful Takashiho Gorge, these divers had a 21 to 27 metre fall into the water below. British diver Aidan Heslop took out the men's event, while Australia's very own Rhiannon Iflin took top spot in the women's. It's really good to finish her with a battle like that. And finally, to this very sour situation in the US. This highway in New Jersey had to be closed down after a tractor trailer overturned, spilling loads of lemons across the road. Surprisingly, it's not the only food that's made its way onto American roads this week, with cans of nacho cheese falling across a highway in Arkansas on Tuesday too. Huh. Boulevard buffet, anyone? Well, have a beautiful weekend and we'll catch you next week. Bye.